Welcome to another Nextcloud tutorial video. Uh, today we will be talking about how you can check the security of your private Nextcloud server. So you followed my videos or you've watched other videos and you've installed Nextcloud server successfully either on TrueNAS, on uh, Ubuntu, using Snap or the native option. And you've configured all your shares and you've created your users. Now you've exposed your next cloud to the internet and you have your domain name and uh, your TLS certificate from Let's Encrypt. So as we all know, the internet is an awesome place, but it's also not safe because we have a lot of people on the internet who are always continuously looking for um, security vulnerabilities and to exploit them either for um, research purposes or for nefarious purposes. So if you're opening something like Nextcloud on there that may or may not have important data to you, maybe your pictures, your files, you want to make sure that the server is secure. So Nextcloud has a security scanner for Nextcloud server that can tell you if your Nextcloud configuration meets the standards um, or meets the hardening guide standards provided by Nextcloud. Before we continue, I am going to say um, note this scan for Nextcloud only scans the Nextcloud application. So just because um, your Nextcloud application is not vulnerable, it doesn't mean that your um, the system that you're running Nextcloud on, including um, the Ubuntu system may not be vulnerable to other um, um, security vulnerabilities out there. So you want to make sure that once you run this scan and your next cloud is safe or um, you don't your your next cloud passes the vulnerability or the hardening guide recommendations, you still want to make sure that you're keeping your Ubuntu instance or whichever um, um, uh, operating system that your next cloud is running on up to date. For example, um, I don't recommend installing Nextcloud on TrueNAS. So for all of you there using Nextcloud on, on the TrueNAS instance, you want to make sure you're not exposing your TrueNAS server to the internet. So you want to use something like a proxy, um, like Ging's proxy manager or HA proxy or some other kind of proxy to expose your Nextcloud out to the internet. So every time someone tries to access your Nextcloud server, they're accessing that proxy and the proxy connects them to the next cloud server. Um, but with all that being said, um, we're just going to go straight into the video. Um, next cloud provides a hardening and security guidance documentation that I have in the description section below. This documentation tells you some things that you can do or some configurations that you can do to help make your next cloud server um, secure or better. So um, there's a couple of things here I would like you guys to note. The first thing you want to note here is make sure that you're using HTTPS for your Nextcloud server. So when you first install Nextcloud, it comes, uh, you can access it using HTTP. You want to follow my videos that I have in this channel or some other channel, if you prefer, um, to be able to set up HTTPS um for your next cloud server and once you do that you want to use the ufw or the untangle firewall or any other firewall on ubuntu and close the port 80. you only want to allow https which is port 443 with a valid certificate for users to access your uh, next cloud server and we've done that in videos on this channel so once you have that set up, the next thing you also want to note is enable HTST um, um, for your HTTPS server. So even though HTTPS is good, you want to um, also configure the strict transport security header in your HTTPS configuration. We've also done that as part of our Nextcloud installation series. And all you need to do is go into your Nextcloud Apache um virtual host file and add the header always set sts um, option if you don't know how to do that there's a tons of documents out there you can also watch my next cloud installation videos and we completed that in one of my videos so once you have that set up 
The next thing you have to do is use a dedicated domain for Nextcloud. So you don't want to access your Nextcloud using your external IP address because one, um, that exposes your IP address. Uh, I would recommend you use Cloudflare. It's free um, and you can proxy your Nextcloud um, DNS name so you hide your actual IP address. And once you do that, you want to get a domain name. You can get a free domain for cheap. Um, anywhere from a dollar to five, ten, fifteen dollars a year. And once you get that, you want to use uh, either a full domain um, for your next cloud server. For example, you can use something like cloud.domain.tld or just domain.tld to gain all the benefits that are offered by the same origin policy that Nextcloud comes with. The next recommendation that Nextcloud gives us is that we want to ensure that our Nextcloud instance is installed in a DMZ. So you don't want to install your Nextcloud on the same network as you have everything else. Um, you can create a separate network for those of you who have um, open source routers like um, something like PFSense. You can create a whole separate next network or VLAN and put Nextcloud on there on its own and set firewall rules. Um, or ACLs that um, control the way Nextcloud accesses other resources on your next on your network. Um, Nextcloud already comes um, default with some security headers, so all the security headers are already enabled for a Nextcloud by default. If you set up HTTPS. Um, and you also want to make sure you, when you're configuring any other additional headers, you want to um, turn the mode um, underscore headers and mode underscore N ENV Apache modules. Um, you can also set up something like fail to ban if you're exposing your Nextcloud up to the internet so that uh, fail to ban is going to monitor um, for um, failed logins and block them based on the configuration that you um, make for fail to ban. So you can configure fail to ban to look for four or five um, failed logins from a specific IP address and block that IP address for a specific amount of time. So that way um, they're not doing password spraying attack and other kind of password attacks on your uh, next cloud server. It helps limit um, the attack exposure. So as you can see here, the default configuration is done for maximum try three times. So if you try to log in three times and it fails, then uh, your IP address is going to be blocked. So I don't think we have a video for setting up fail to ban yet. I'm probably going to make one um, so that we can go ahead and set that up for those of you who are interested in it. And please, if you're interested in a fail to ban video, actually leave it down in the comment section below. Um, if I get a lot of people who are, who are interested, I will go ahead and make a fail to ban video for you guys. So now that we've gone over that documentation, we're going to head over to the next cloud security scan for you to scan your next cloud server. You just got to go to scan.nextcloud.com. The link is also added in the description section below, and you want to enter your, um, next cloud servers, um, uh, host name or domain name in my case is cloud.geektogether.com and once you do that you're gonna select the scan option um, mine is pretty quick because I've done this a lot of times before yours may take some time so just be patient and once you do the scan you get a result so you can see my next cloud servers rating is at an A so um, if we oops sorry if we go all the way down below, you can see the notes about the different ratings. F is the lowest, that's why it's red. And then you have A and A plus. So A means the server has no known vulnerabilities, but there are additional hardening capabilities that are available um, to make it harder for someone to exploit my server. So A plus is obviously the best. Um, it tells you why you have an A, as you can see here, the Hardenings that have uh, the hardening measures that I've configured for my next cloud server includes brute force protection. Um, you can expand this to uh, password confirmation, 
uh, hotfix, apps, passwords can be restricted. For my setup, I have X-Frame options turned on, which is good. The other one, the only thing I don't have turned on is X XSS um, protection, which I'm not really worried about it for now. But in the future, I'm going to add that security header on my Apache server so that it can get me to an A+. Uh, X download options, permissions policy are all enabled. So this is a good way to check um, periodically if your next cloud server has some specific um, private um, security vulnerabilities that you may need to address. So I hope this video helps you. Please like the video. Um, if you have any questions about the uh, um, hardening and security guidance for Nextcloud, you can leave it down in the comment section below. And please do not forget to subscribe to the channel.